right, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how we start framing the house and the different ways you can create the walls for the eventual home. Um, these are all wood frame houses and that's due to the area of Florida. Since we're in North Florida, most people, if not everybody, is using wood frame. Um, and in different areas of the state in Florida, like Orlando or South Florida, everybody uses block because of the hurricane codes and stuff like that. Um, so those are the two kind of options you can make your walls out of. And after the slabs poured, which you guys already saw, the next step is framing up all the walls. So on the ground, before they put the wall up, they'll frame the wall on the ground and then they'll tilt it up so you can so it's easier, so that way you're doing all your building on the ground. They'll tilt it up in place, and they'll go all the way around the house, kind of following the plan. All right, as you can see here, this is a house that is, the exterior framing is fully complete. And uh, before you saw the walls were kind of open and you could see through them. Now they've been sheathed with, um, with zip OSB on the exterior walls. That's kind of a cladding. It makes the wall more secure so it doesn't wobble. And then also it gives it like a solid finished surface. It's called sheathing. Uh, some people use plywood. We use something called zip OSB, which is the green material you'll notice. You don't see that that often, but it's a water waterproof OSB. It's a better product that we use. Um, also, you can see the two by six framing that we used here. It allows for more insulation inside the walls. It's something we include in all of our houses now. A standard house is only two by four framing, which allows for only three and a half inches of insulation. This allows for five and a half inches, which allows you higher R values. Our walls are up to R21. Um, in addition, as I was trying to explain to you before, um, these are the windows. You can see the wall are framed with headers above the window openings. That's to support any weight that's above that header board. And then all of these pieces of the walls are called studs. As we discussed before, these are How far sheet. apart are the studs? When we do the two by six, depending on the engineer, what he requires, different parts of the house could have different distances apart. But as a standard wall with the two by six, it's 24 inches apart. A standard wall with a two by four is 16 inches apart. So it depends on what the weight is above it, and you gotta ask the engineers for that information. Why is that framing a little different? Um, oh, this is again something the engineer specified. He specified something called diagonal bracing. And um, these make the wall more sturdy so when the wind pushes around the corner, it doesn't twist. So they call it diagonal bracing and the, the point of the braces is to stop the walls from twisting if, um, if it's very windy outside. Why do you use frame versus block? Um, it, it depends on the area where you're building. So in certain areas in South Florida, the hurricane codes are such a high wind speed, I think they go up to like 180 or 190 miles an hour, that the block is almost required to make it work, especially if you have tall walls in the house or whatever, to, to meet the code. For the engineer to meet the code, it really requires the block. As you move north to Orlando, the wind speeds are still a little higher. As you move further north to Gainesville and Jacksonville, most of it's frame. Um, just because the wind speed requirement in the code for hurricanes is not quite as high. My name is Chris Evans with KU Construction. All right. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, um, I already told you my name. Um, I'm the owner of KU Construction. Uh, a couple of my guys here behind me, they make my bread and butter for me. So. Why is framing important when it comes to building a home? framing is important because it's pretty much the infrastructure of a house. Accurate measures are really important. <laughs> and what type of geometry is involved? In terms geometry? Of, yeah. Um, there's a little bit, a little bit of geometry, not too much geometry, more or less just simple, simple math, mm -hmm. addition, subtraction, multiplication. What are some other materials that you can use to frame a home besides wood? Uh, you can build homes out of blocks, metal. Styrofoam block, which is pretty good, mm -hmm. well insulated. Um, that's the three major materials, I guess you could say. Okay. And then, what type of background do you need to kind of know for your job in terms of education or like previous experience? Uh, previous experience is, is the most important. Uh, a lot of times, you know, as far as education, 
um, high school diploma. You know, most of the guys out here, they're not really college college graduates, but they're all they're all real smart guys. They all. Mm -hmm. And then, how did you get yourself get involved in the business? Um, how did I get involved? Actually, uh, I guess when I was 18, a guy, my uh, my stepdad, dropped me off on a framing crew, and that's what, what I've been doing. Ever since. <laughs> so, what are your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job, I guess you could say. I like when I'm when I'm finished with the job, just being able to kind of stand back and look, and just kind of feel proud of what I what I've done. And Very you know, nice. <laughs> and your least favorite? My least favorite is summertime. <laughs> Understandable. <It's> hot. <laughs> and what will a set of construction plans tell you? A set of it depends on which set you get, but it, it tells you pretty much how to build the house. The set that we usually build off of is uh, the floor plan which tells us where all the walls go tells us where all the bearing points are in a house as far as where the trusses set, where they go which way they go mm -hmm. um, it tells us where all the window openings are where all the door openings are uh, the plans pretty much tell you everything you need to know Right. how is it different to frame a one story rather than a two story home there's a little more work involved in a two story uh, of course, it's, it's higher. You know, there's a lot more ladder work. So when you get to the second floor, it's a little slower, it's slower going. But uh, we can do it all. One story, two stories. Yes, there's a lot of a lot of rules and a lot of codes that we have to follow. Very nice. Um, are the wood trusses made at the job site or someplace else? And then how do you deliver and transport them if they are made someplace else? The, the roof trusses are made at... Uh, at a truss factory, and they deliver them by truck and drop them off on the job. Also, the floor joists are made at a factory. Now, sometimes they can't build the whole uh, roof system into the trusses, so of course we have to conventionally frame uh, parts of the roof in by hand. Oh, okay. And is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Then that's it. Thank you so much no for your time. Problem. No problem.